Chef Zebla in the house. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Zedlow's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making pumpkin alfredo. It's only a few ingredients. You can use any kind of pasta you want. Today I'm going to be using angel hair and it's going to cook up in about 20 minutes. So let's get to cooking. So right now I am letting my water boil. We're going to let that sit. The cover's on. We're just going to let it do its thing. So for this recipe, we need one can of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie, pumpkin puree. So that's what I have here. We're going to need salt and pepper. I have one cup of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. I have my angel hair pasta and we're going to make the full pound. I have nutmeg. I have a little bit of oil. And then I have Parmesan cheese. This is freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And then some garlic garlic seasoning. Now I'm using this because unfortunately I don't have any garlic and I don't know how that happened. So this is the next best substitute. Um, I think it, it's going to be great. So we'll see how it turns out. But I'm really hoping that this does the trick. So. I'm going to switch the camera around and we're going to just, we're going to get to cooking. So our water is boiling and I'm going to turn on this pan. All right. So I'm going to do about medium heat into this pan. I'm going to do about a tablespoon of oil. Okay, just like that. We're going to let that heat up. And then we're going to add in our garlic. We're going to add in our garlic to this. So, to our water. As you can see, it's nice and boiling. You see it right there. We're going to add some salt. Okay. Just like that. And then we're going to add in our angel hair pasta. And like I said, I'm using the entire pound. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that in. Just like that. Then to the oil, I'm going to do a few tablespoons of our garlic garlic. And I'm going to mix it around until I smell it. I'm just going to go ahead, just mix this around. Okay. It's going to smell delicious. Go ahead and kind of stir this around, get this cooking. And we're only going to cook this until al dente because it's going to cook in the pan. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, you can smell the garlic already. You can lower that, it's getting brown. We're gonna let so, this cook for about. Two to three minutes. We want to get it soft. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to add in our heavy cream. Let's see, there we go. 
it's getting nice and soft. It's getting heated up. Perfect. I'm going to let that cook. I'm going to try to scrape the rest of this out. There we go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and give our pasta a little zhuzhing around. There we go. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in our heavy cream. Okay. I'm going to add this in. I'm going to let this cook. And it should make a nice sauce. We're going to let this cook. We're going to let this simmer. We're going to let everything meld together. Because then we're going to add in our cheese. This does smell really good, by the way. Just want to get everything incorporated. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to add in our Parmesan cheese. I'm going to let this melt. Okay. And once we let this melt, we're going to add in the salt, pepper, and the nutmeg. And let this melt. And we're going to add in the pasta water because this is a little bit thick. Smells delicious though. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some salt, some pepper. Okay, just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of nutmeg. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead, mix this up. All right. And then I'm gonna take take our tongs here and I'm actually just going to go ahead and move that closer and I'm going to go ahead and drop the pasta right in here. I'm going to go ahead dump that pasta in there. Give this a zhuzh. Make sure it's all nice and coated. All right, so I'm gonna take some pasta water, kind of dump it in. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up. And now we're gonna re get ready to try this. So let's try this. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay. It looks interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Let's put a little cheese on there. Okay. And let's try this. I'm iffy about this. Cheers. It's not bad. It's definitely Alfredo. You could taste like it does. It tastes like Alfredo. However, I feel like the pumpkin puree just doesn't shine. Like, to me, this tastes like garlic. Like a normal Alfredo, it's just orange. You know? 
It is good though. It is good, but I don't, me personally, I don't get that pumpkin flavor. Like that. Like, um, I mean, you know how pumpkin tastes. To me, this is just like Alfredo with just normal Alfredo, honestly. It's good. I will say that. It is good. It is good. It's just, it's not what I was expecting. I was expecting to get like, like, you know, the taste of pumpkin. Not like, not pumpkin pie, not nothing, but like the taste of pumpkin. And it kind of falls short on that. So I don't know if you have to add more. Or if it's just not supposed, like, if it's not really supposed to taste like pumpkin. Because it makes me wonder if the pumpkin was just for the color. But it is good. I will say, though, I would probably do, like, half the pasta. And not make a pound, because... I feel like this is a little too much. And it made the sauce thick. But nonetheless, delicious. Really good. I would probably try this recipe different. And I might. So there might be a take two on this. But, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to Nina when she does these videos as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to be the best you can be. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! That's it.